Let's talk turkey. What better way to let your imagination fly the coop than crafting your very own gorgeous turkeys out of gourds? Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own turkeys out of gourds using very simple ingredients, I guess you could call them materials. You can do this as simple or as elaborate as you'd like. Whatever you want to do with it, I'm going to show you two ways, that's four, two ways that you can do this using stuff that I had. I mean, I have a whole lot of craft supplies, but if you don't have this stuff, you can always go out and get it from a craft store or uh, whatever store happens to have some of this stuff. So what you will need for this craft, of course, you will need a gourd. So find a gourd that ideally will stand up on its own. Um, you want to look for shape, uh, maybe consider smoothness. Maybe you don't want one of the really like bumpy, interesting ones and you just want a regular smooth gourd. Um, whatever strikes your fancy, but I find it works well if you have one that's sort of narrowed at the top so it kind of looks like a head and also has kind of like a squat body um, so it looks kind of like your big chubby turkeys that you find in the wild or maybe on a farm. So gourd, you can also use maybe a pumpkin if you'd like but I find it looks a lot more interesting and a lot more similar if you go with the gourd but definitely not out of the running um, to use a small pumpkin there. Other materials you can use are acrylic paint, paper, and a hot glue gun, at least for this easy version of our gourd turkey. All of these things are just ideas. Um, you can go to the craft store and find anything else that strikes your fancy, say googly eyes or uh, feathers or pretty much anything that you want. I'll show you kind of two ways you can go with this. For this part, I've laid down a piece of contact paper with not separated from the little mat it's on just so I can use it for a safe clean surface and I won't mess up my table here. I have my gourd and I have some brown paint. So we're going to start with the easy one. We're going to paint a solid color of brown all over the gourd and I'll just put, you know, a dab directly on my contact paper because why not? No need for palettes. You can also use a paper plate if you have one. And this is kind of the fun part because you don't have to actually do an amazing job in painting. There's no real like detail work on this part. Just coat the whole thing. Okay, so we're back with the easy one. We've already coated this with a coat of brown and this is ready for some details. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, map out where I want to put my eyes. Remember this part's kind of our head, so I want to stick to here. And I'm going to do maybe like cartoon eyes, so big ovals on either side of where its beak will be. So I'll get our white paint and I'll start just trying to get a nice oval cartoony eye shape. And then we'll do another one on the other side. So this one is, it's gotta be at least about the same size as the other side, just to make it look okay. But other than that, if you make a mistake, you can always go back and make the other one a different size until they even up. It's kind of like doing your eyebrows, right? And we'll maybe let that dry a little bit, come back to it and paint the next part because we're gonna paint the, the little black pupils of cartoon eyes right here, um, kind of on the bottoms, facing the center a little bit. We can make a beak for our turkey. So this one, you could probably make like a long diamond shape. So just draw out something really kind of wide and long and then maybe add a little flap right here 
that we're going to fold on either side. So just kind of draw that. And we're going to cut around the whole thing and then fold on these two inner lines here. So let's cut that piece out and see how it fits. You can always try cutting out another piece or trimming this one if it's too big. And then to hide our lines here, we're going to fold over the top there. And there. And then when you fold it this way, just trim it right there so it doesn't show on the other side. And then we're going to go ahead and fold it completely in half to make it a little 3D. So, got a big beaker right there. I'll probably trim this little top piece just so it fits a little better. So what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on this edge and this edge. And then we're going to fasten it to the turkey. Okay, I'm getting my hot glue gun ready. It's plugged in. We're waiting for it to heat up. And so I think our eyes are ready for more paint. So we'll let that sit there and then we'll get our paintbrush. And let's see if our black familiar has dried up yet. No, I think it's still good. So we're going to draw very carefully in here. A little cartoon eyes. So two cartoon eyes. I think that turned out okay. If you want to add little eyelashes or any other details, feel free to do that. Okay, so now we have this dry and our glue gun is sufficiently heated up, so we're going to glue our beak on. And I think we'll place it right about there. I think that sounds good. So let's get the glue. We're going to just like spread it along and try to move quickly as this stuff dries pretty fast once it's not hot. So we'll get that on. So we have our beak. We're looking a little more bird-like, but this is not a turkey until we have a waddle. So let's cut out a piece of red. Okay, we're going to draw maybe like a teardrop shape. Um, that'll come off the side here, so let's do kind of an angle, kind of like a, a V-shape thing, and then we're going to have a bulb down at the bottom. And we'll see if that works out. I think that'll work. So we will cut this piece out. We have our waddle. And let's glue it to the side here. So we'll probably want to get a whole lot of glue right here. Um, so let's glue it directly on and put our piece down. So there we go. We have a pretty good start to our turkey. Um, we've got a nice face going on here. So what we can do is we can start adding a little bit more details. I would probably do a lot with paint. I'm going to draw some wings on here, the best that I know how. So remember they're kind of almond shaped. So we're going to start here and then go sweeping back and then do the same thing and kind of arch it into that same point. So we'll do that with black paint. And if you want to try drawing it on with pencil, you can see how that works. So you don't have to go at it blind. Um, we're going to draw it with the pencil. We're going to start up here. This is kind of like a shoulder kind of area. So we're going to swoop down into the back. Right there. So we started up here. Let's move it around and down to our point. I'm going to take our paintbrush, dip it in some black, and then we're going to trace over the line that we just drew. If you don't feel comfortable kind of drawing wings, if your drawing ability is not super strong, um, you can find 
maybe like a picture of a cartoon wing on the internet. Just kind of search for it. And maybe with your phone, you can kind of like compare, or if you want to print it out, you can print it out and use it as a template and trace around it. So we have two wings on either side, and then maybe we'll put in a, a couple of, of little wavy line half circles here, just to make it a little interesting. Maybe we'll do like a row of three, followed by like two individual ones. Followed by another row of three. So right now this is very simple, very um, straightforward. What we are missing now is we're missing our big tail. So uh, this we can do with paper. We'll kind of set this aside to dry and then we'll get our orange and red paper and we'll make a fan. For our fan we're going to um, start with our piece of paper that we've already cut into. It's alright if we have like a chunk missing from it. You can just make that the bottom and nobody will see it. Um, so we're going to cut out a square. I've already kind of figured out where to cut it. And draw an outline to follow as a guide. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold our paper in half. Our square. We're going to toss this little section that we had. So fold it in half and then you'll cut it along the middle. So we'll have two sides that are of equal length and equal width. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold them into a fan. So how this works is you fold forward and then the next one you fold in the opposite direction, then you fold it forward again until you get the zigzag pattern in the paper. So we're going to start, let's try to use this one that I made as a guide. I want it to be somewhat equal. So I'm going to fold it about where it is on the red one. And then I'll use this as a guide from there. So I want to line up all my edges with this part that I've started here. So you, once you have a little flap here, flip it over and then fold it away from you. Flip it over again, fold it towards you. So again, this little chunk right here, not a big deal. We can use that. For the bottom part. So these pieces are going to go behind, but I need a little bit more, so we're going to fold another one. So I have two pieces of orange, and I've also prepared two pieces of red. And to make this colorful and interesting, I'm going to put them together with orange, red, orange, and red. We're going to use the hot glue gun to glue the bottom. You can also try using some tape around the bottom if you want to really hold it in place. Um, but we'll try the hot glue gun. You're going to want to put glue in between each of the folds on either side in order to secure it. And we're going to do that for all of these. So this is getting a little gloopy. You're going to put some glue on, press it together, put a little bit more on the next one, press it, and then we're going to glue these pieces to each other. Once you have your glue all set here, you can widen it ever so gently. Be careful though because you could tear apart some of your glue in the back. And we can glue this. Maybe I will put a little like triangle right here so it has something to adhere to. And cut that out of our piece here. We'll 
use this triangle, glue it on the back, and then we'll have a nice solid surface to adhere everything else to. So let's make sure this is nice and glued up. It's going to be very hot if you put a lot of glue, but we want that to harden and fill in some of these spaces and give us a nice flat surface. So letting that cool off just a bit. And when we're ready, we'll probably want to make it so that it sits on the ground a bit. That way it'll have some support and it won't have gravity pulling it down. So we'll aim for putting some glue on here, quite a lot of it. And we'll affix this to that probably while it's sitting, just to make sure we get the glue in the right spot. Really press that and hold it for up to 30 seconds. And there you have it. We have a nice, very simple, very easy to make turkey gourd. Definitely gorgeous. Thanks for watching. This was part one of Gorgeous Turkey. So if you enjoyed this video, if you want to try another more elaborate turkey, stay tuned for part two where we'll show you another way of making a gourd turkey.